kailangan maging masakit sa TL kailangan maging kailangan maging ayan, pati <laughs> Thank you again for watching the incredible channel and if you want to see more of this kind of video please subscribe share like and don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to be updated every time welcome good morning hello how are you everyone thank you again for watching the incredible channel and welcome to my channel and today is an episode of qualities to make a great leader so let's start the countdown are you ready for the countdown? Let's start from number 10. Number 10 is honesty. It is important that if you are leading a people, you have that kind of quality of being honest. Because, you know, what I'm trying to say is that be open, make sure that there is an open door policy in your, in your, in your, you know, in the relationship with your people because it, it will make who you are and it would make your people will trust you more if there is an honest relationship with you both like you know can open up to them when it comes to how they act or what are they doing or how are they or, or are, how effective are they in the in the in the team because it makes them feel more comfortable in telling you what's really the the, the issue or the, the concern in the group if there is an honest type of communication in your team but again hindi naman kailangan na sabihin mo lahat diba you should have also to filter things when it comes to saying to your people um, just let them feel that there is an open door or open communication with with the team right number nine bang <laughs> number nine Intuition. Mm, alam nyo na yung intuition, di ba? Intuition is, ang sabi dito sa Google, the ability to understand something immediately. So being a leader should also know the feelings and the the actions ng mga tao niya. Kasi you've been there. You've, hindi, ka naman naging, hindi ka naman naging leader ng ganun-ganun lang kung hindi ka nag-start dun sa pinakabababa, di ba? or you didn't feel or you didn't um parang you you didn't experience yung pagiging katulad sa kanila so like for example in the BPO industry for example that you are handling people those are especially for those uh, yung mga yung mga agents mo so i'm sure naging agent ka naman one day in your life so meron ka agad intuition pag meron pag yung 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 ahente mo na you know mare na merong gustong sabihin sa iyo you already know that kasi ayun yung parang kumbaga ang pagkakaroon ng intuition ng isang pagiging leader na ah ito na yung sasabihin ng mga tao ko ah, ah or or ah ito na yung gustong gawin ng mga tao ko so you should have that intuition for you to make sure that you also understand what your people is looking for yung magiging proactive tayo magiging ano tayo sa mga feelings ng ating mga tao na naha, na handle natin for example he or she is not really doing very well when it comes to work so na feel mo na nalalaman mo na na what's his problem or what's her problem or ano mo pinagdadaanan or what not so na feel mo yon number 8 ang pangit talaga number 8 number 8 is creativity so, pagiging leader is not just all about coming every day and then logging, logging in, logging out, and then, you know, the usual every day. So, you should also have the creativity in you that, for example, sabihin mo sa mga team mo na, kusan yung perfect attendance for this week, bibigyan ko ng something, bibigyan ko ng... No, it's just only a bribe, no? Kasi yung pagkakaroon ng... Yung kailangan naman talaga pumasok yung mga tao natin ng, ng perfect attendance. Pero, you no, know, just for you to lift up their spirits na ay they're looking forward something into diba na parang you are a type of leader that gusto mo na yung mga tao mo merong something to look forward into every day every single week you know just be creative you really don't need to be animated just be creative in everything that you do for your people to feel that this team is really our harmonious um uh workmates and we're down to number seven number seven is a good attitude as always you really have to have a good attitude 
attitude. Um, hindi naman naman kailangan maging plastic. Just have a good attitude because, you know, every single day, your people will look up to you and they put you as a role model every day na nakikita nila kayo. Kasi at the end of the day, ikaw pa rin yung magdidepend sa kanila eh. And then, you know, hindi naman kailangan na because I am your leader, I should be always uh, yung nasusunod. Hindi, hindi dapat ganun. Hindi naman kailangan na kung ikaw ay isang leader, ay kailangan ikaw lang susundin lagi. No, you should have all also to, to listen to your people. And you know, that's also a sign of having good attitude. Kasi that's the most important thing eh. You, your people should feel that you have the good attitude. At the same time, they will also show their good attitude. And we're halfway there. We're down to number six. Number six is commitment. Having a, a role of, of, of being a leader is really a commitment. Every single day, you always you face challenges because, for example, that you are handling people like 10 or more. So you are dealing with 10 or more characteristics every day. Every single day, every single characteristics you are dealing with daily. Unlike them, isa lang yung dinadeal nila, ikaw lang. Diba? So you should have to have that commitment, that love of work. You have to love what you do. You have to be committed in what you do so that yung balik naman sa yun na work is also greater things because you are committed at your work. Hindi mo kailangan maging hardworking. Just work smart and be committed to what you do. For example, your people, no? Kasi, again, as like I mentioned earlier, your people is really, is, is looking up to you every single day. Um, not only just committed with your work, but also to your people because the team won't be called a team if not for your people. Diba? Hindi mo pwede mag-isa ka lang. In, wala ka naman din doon. Sino ang lead mo? Sino ang hahawakan mo um, as a team kung wala yung mga tao mo? Sila yung nagpapatakbo. Sila yung nabibigay ng productivity every single day. So you have to be committed. You have to be committed at your work because leading a people is not just of being how equipped you are. It's not just all about that. You should also have to have the ability to inspire people and to share what really, you know, of being a great leader and for you to hone them and become and let them become the, 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 the next team lead or the next manager in the future. So you have also to be committed in that, not only for them, but also for their career growth. And now we're down to number five. Number five is confidence. Of course, being a leader should have to have that confidence. Wag lang masyadong overconfident ha, na parang OA na. Confidence, kasi kailangan ng humarap ka sa tao mo. Kailangan humarap ka kung ano yung sasabihin mo sa mga tao mo. Be that person that has confidence, that strong attitude to your people. Hindi mo kailangan i-OA mo yun. Just be yourself. Just make sure that every time that you speak, your people will listen. Your people will 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 understand what you are trying to say because of that confidence. Not only when it comes to facing your people, but also leading them. That you have that confidence in leading them. Now, whatever man yung mangyari on a daily basis, that you are confident that your team will perform. Kasi minsan, kasi minsan, naiisip ng mga tao na madali lang naman maging team lead, madali lang naman maging manager. No, it's not that easy because kailangan medyo makapal ang fest mo. <laughs> kailangan medyo makapal ang fest mo and you really have to have that confidence in you for you to face the people. As what I mentioned earlier, you are dealing with 10 or more people every single day, but them, they are just dealing with you. So every single day, every single character diba so again hindi lang commitment kailangan kumpiyansa ka din may kumpiyansa ka din na kahit na merong may, may mga lows sa, sa operations on a daily basis same with your people you're all, you are just confident that you can end the day with a bang <laughs> and number sense of humor of course kailangan maging masaya kailangan hindi hindi mo kailangan animated no pero kailangan masaya kailangan lang merong ligaya sa team hindi pwede yung sobrang strict hindi hindi kailangan yung sobrang serious face hindi kailangan na sobrang um, meticulo 
mafabuloso, maldita, mataray, ganon. Kailangan meron ding sense of humor. Kasi it will make the team happier. It will make the, it will make the team livelier. It will make the team more productive. It will make the team more motivated in, in every single day that they will come at the office. Diba? Kailangan may sense of humor. Huwag na masyadong dahil team lead ka. Oh, kailangan serious space na ako. No. You should always have to have that sense of humor. Para naman, lapitan ka ng mga tao mo. Hindi naman nasasabihin na, ay, napaka-strict naman na TL. Diba? Hindi naman, hindi mo kailangan maging animated. And learn to laugh. <laughs> We're busy tayo sa work. So we have to learn to laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! We're down to number three. Number three is communication. Communication is very important because kasi doon pipi-feel ng mga tao mo on how effective you are when it comes to communication. Just communicate with them. Talk to them. Diba? Again, may communication kayo. Hindi lang dahil boss ka or hindi lang dahil leader lead ka niya, hindi lang dahil tao mo siya. Meron na kayong wall. No, there shouldn't be like that. Kailangan may communication so that they, your people can tell you how they are or where they're coming from or if you feel nila when it comes sa, sa production today or sa operations today para hindi sila mahirapan makipag, makipag-usap sa'yo. Kasi if you don't have that open communication, they will just be aloof in, in telling you what they feel for the day. So sometimes, hindi mo na alam kung paano, ka, paano mo sila kakausapin because you don't have the proper communication with them. Hindi mo sila kinakausapin usapin din sila kinakamusta. Diba? So, yun. And we're down to number two. This is one of the most important. These last two is, you know, for me, really important because ito yung, ito yung na, mga realization ko. Well, na realize, well, yun naman lahat. Yung mga, yung mga ten qualities na binanggit ko kanina, yun naman talaga yung mga realization ko din. While, when I started way back 2013 as a team lead up until now that I'm managing people still you know every day is a continuous improvement every day is a realization every day is a challenge kumbaga so itong second to the last this is ability to delegate for example that you are away for like a week or a day you delegate some of your tasks na hey this is for you this is for you this is for you not because you didn't like that report not because you didn't like to, to do that not because you didn't like this it's more of you want your people to let them learn to let them feel that they are part of the team to let them feel that they are important to let them feel that hey i like working these kinds of reports maybe i want it to be a uh, i can be a reports analyst or i can be a quality analyst or i can be a leader someday so you know delegate and and um, and train them delegate and hone them delegate and let them feel that they are important because delegation will also let your people feel that they're important to the team and they are important to you. That's why you have to delegate. But then again, huwag yung masyadong mahihirap na mga tasks kasi para sa iyo yun as a leader. Yung mga simple lang, yung mga pagkoconsolidate ng ganito, pagkatrack ng ganito, pagkukuha ng mga ganito, alam nyo, sa ahente kasi, um, sa, mga, sa mga tao natin, not just particularly sa mga ahente, sa mga tao na hinahawakan natin, even a simple task that you delegate to them, it would make them feel important. How did, how did I know that? Because I was like that when I was still starting at my career. Every time na binibigyan ako ng TL ko or binibigyan ako ng team lead ko ng isang bagay na, na or isang task na laging pinapagawa sa iba at binigay sa akin, it would make me feel important na parang, ay, binigyan ako ni, binigyan ako ni Madam ng ganito, binigyan ako ng boss ko ng ganito. So, so I can do this pala. Meron siyang trust. That's the most important thing. Yung tiwala. Kaya mo pinapagawa sa kanila yun because tiwala ka na magagawa nila din mo maayos yun. And also, again, let them, you, you will let them realize what's their, what's their career path na gusto nilang mangyari um, in the future. Because again, having, for example, yung pagkakonsolidate ng mga report, ma-realize nila yun na, ah, okay, um, this is what I want to be, this is what, this is what my, my, my lead wanted to 
be but don't delegate because you want something from them or you need something from them di ba kasi merong mga team lead or may mga managers din minsan na pinapagawa nila dito because may utang ako sa ganito may may may, may kasalanan ako sa ganito may ganun no delegate because you want your people to grow delegate because you want your people to succeed and delegate because you want your people to realize that they are also important and they are really important in the team and they are part of the team and also hindi lang para para hindi lang din lagi yun yung ginagawa nila diba para ma, ma ano din man sila ma hype naman sila ma ano naman sila parang you know shake 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 lang na maiba naman maiba naman silang ginagawa yun and pag delegate hindi lang para hindi lang puro doon sa isang tao ha kung gusto mo i-roll mo yan uh, parang ipaikot mo yan pero pero while you're doing that you should also observe kung sino yung mga tao na while you're delegating task yung mahilig sa ganitong task or magaling sa ganitong task hindi yung hindi yung ano hindi yung basta lang ibigay mo lang sa kanila kasi like in my case I am giving I am delegating a, a task for example consolidation of ganito doon ko bibigay yun sa tao sa gusto niyang gawin talaga kasi ayaw ko na maibigay doon sa tao na ayaw niyang gawin yung yung task na yun because he or she is not into it he or she hindi niya strength yun iba yung strength niya okay nag nagets niya yun so ganun siya huwag niyong ibigay just because gusto mo lang kailangan meron ka rin plan for them na bakit mo ginagawa sa kanila yan because you wanted to, them to grow okay So before we reveal our number one spot in the top 10 qualities of being a great leader, let's review first our top 9 qualities that we discussed earlier. Honesty, intuition, creativity, good attitude, commitment, confidence, sense of humor, communication, ability to delegate, and number one is ability to inspire you are the leader you should inspire your people you should inspire this you should inspire that being like this and being like that ako yung inspire ko yung mga tao ko um during my coaching session with them in inspire ko sila on how to reach their career goals kasi uh, most of the time sa mga tao natin again it's that our career is a race it's always a race but they should also know that having that being in the race is not always kung sino yung nauuna kailangan every single time na mayroong pit stop they should also learn when to peak so hindi yung puro pa ganun kailangan marunong ka rin mag tone down kasi hindi every day is your day you know you should learn to peak you should learn to breathe you should learn to to stay calm but every time that you're doing that na may pit stop, na may opportunities that you or every day na ginagawa mo yan, there's always learning, realization, and okay, lakad na naman ako. Parang sa marathon, di ba? Hindi mo naman kailangan mauna. Marami kayo dyan. Hindi mo kailangan mauna. Pero, ang kailangan mo, sa'yo, sa sarili mo, is matapos mo yung marathon. At the end of the day, pag matapos mo siya, meron ka pa rin medal. Di ba? So, hindi mo kailangang mauna. Learn when to peak. Learn when to breathe. Learn to motivate yourself. Kasi pag sobrang, sobrang laging, okay, ito, bibigay ko lahat. Ito, bibigay ko. Mag-work hard ako sa work. Kailangan, wala akong escalation. Kailangan walang ganang ganyan-ganyan. Pero pag meron ka ng, pero nang karoon ka ng mga ganun, yung, yung pagpipeak mo sa career mo or sa motivation mo, bumababa. So, nawawalan ka ng gana. Okay? So, minsan, nagsa-self-pity ka na. Bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Kasi every day is a challenge. Every day is a continuous improvement. Every day is a learning opportunity. So, those daily challenges would make you stronger, will hone you to a better you once you need to push in to your career. Diba? There's always a right time for everything.
everyone. Just be sure that you are sure that that you know that your career path is there. Sometimes, sometimes being a leader as well during your coaching, you should also learn to let them inspire, but don't let them. That, but don't tell them that you should also that they should also do what you've done when you were reaching your goal because every single person has different strengths and weaknesses maybe the path that you took is different from the from that person so parang formula sa math diba meron shortcut meron long cut pero at the end of the day same pa rin kayo ng sagot diba so just inspire them just let them feel that this is you know there's always a right time for everyone just learn and unlearn things okay i hope guys you learned some of the top 10 qualities of being a great leader and for those people who are also inspired um to be a leader hoping that these qualities that i've mentioned to you will also help you and let you learn that these are importance of being a great leader good luck god bless and thank you for watching the incredible channel until next time goodbye